If you're looking for pound for pound the best home health and beauty fragrance products, you need to go to ashkicking.com. Y'all live on Facebook. Say what's up real quick. What's going on? What's going on, Dante, Dante Nation uh, fans? Bo Mack. Bo Mack, Terrence Crawford training right here. Watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all hear it. Y'all hear it. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So the Fighter of the Year, 2017 and 2014 Fighter of the Year, Terrence Crawford, he was asked a question about facing Keith Thurman, or at least what Keith Thurman thought about him moving up to welterweight. Uh, my man Blue Blood Sports interviewed him. Shout out to Blue Blood. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. And um, Blue Blood basically um, asked him what did he think about what Keith Thurman had to say about him moving up to 147 because Keith Thurman basically said that Terrence Crawford is going to find out that this is a different weight class and we have to find out how he's going to deal with that jump up in weight. This is basically what he said. Now I'm going to go ahead and play the clip of what Terrence Crawford had to say in response to Keith Thurman saying this. Check this out and I'll come back with my commentary. Okay, and because uh, Keith Thurman said that um, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot different at 147 than it is going to be at 140 for you. What you how, how would you answer him with that? We'll see, you know. Just get in there with me and then that's the only, only way of telling. Okay, so you guys heard what Terrence Crawford said about getting in the ring with Keith Thurman. He basically just challenged Keith Thurman like Errol Spence did. I tell you right now, man, the walls are really closing in on Keith Thurman right now. The walls are closing in because I personally don't believe that Keith Thurman has an interest in facing Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence. We already know from this clip you guys are watching right here of um, the interview I did with Keith Thurman back in 2015. What is that now? And that's damn near three years ago. At that time, I was asking him about him possibly facing Errol Spence. Everyone was. And he said the boy will probably be ready sometime around 2017. This is what he said about Errol Spence. Fast forward to present day. Now he's um, recently said that Errol Spence, he said that fight probably won't even happen. It may even be 2019, not even 2018, before he gets in there with Errol Spence. Now he has this other shark that's coming after him, and that's Terrence Crawford. And of course, we don't know how Terrence Crawford is going to look at 147. One thing we do know is he's already heavy in weight right now, so I believe that he'll look the same way. He'll look just like he looked at 140. He'll look like a beast at the new weight class. Um, now, he's the mandatory for Jeff Horn, and now Jeff Horn is trying to do his best tap dancing around that fight. He's trying to get away. He's trying to avoid a Terrence Crawford fight asking for $5 million, knowing that that's not going to happen, knowing he won't get that severance pay that he's requesting. So we'll see what happens in that case because, once again, Terrence Crawford is the mandatory. So the question is, does Jeff Horn, does he just give up his belt? Does he just hand his belt over to uh, Terrence Crawford? Because right now, he's in a house surrounded by police. And his two options are either to give up, come out with his hands up, and hand that belt over to Terrence Crawford, or he's going to go out in a blaze of glory. He's going to go shooting his way out of that house. Let's see what happens with Jeff Horn. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.